All right, so this last section is nothing new in terms of how to solve things. The only bit that we're adding in here is wordiness. So we're going to be having word problems, but we're still going to be solving them using Sokotoa to find either sides or angles. And I think some of the ones in the exercise even use Pythagoras' theorem as well. Okay. So some of the words that you're going to see that might be new is things like this, an angle of elevation. An angle of elevation means that you find wherever the horizontal line is that you're talking about. So it might be the ground. We're on the ground. That's our horizontal line. And the angle of elevation is always going up from the ground, yeah? Whereas an angle of depression, again, you start with your horizontal line, but an angle of depression goes down. Now, the good news for you guys is that on your test and even most of the ones in your um, exercise, you are going to be given the diagram this year. But next year, when you guys go into year 10, this will be the stuff that is new in this topic where you will do a lot more wordy questions where you've got to draw them yourself. You'll even probably go into bearings and those kinds of things as well, which we don't touch on at all this year. Okay, so that will make it harder for next year. But this year, most of the time, you can even ignore the wordy questions because the wordiness, because the diagram will be there and you'll be able to see, oh, that's what I've got to solve for. And off you go with your soccer toe up. Okay? But it's a bit of an insight as to what is happening for next year to come. Now, these ones in the examples, though, I didn't put diagrams in because I wanted to have a go at it. So we're going to read through it and try and draw very basic. It's going to be, they're going to be triangles. I'm not wanting you to draw cliffs and buildings and things. We just draw lines, okay? So it says, from a vertical cliff, 80 metres high. So this is my very simple vertical cliff. Yep. And it is 80 metres Tall. The angle of depression of a boat out at sea is 15 degrees. So, so there's my cliff. Coming across the bottom here would be the water. And if you want to, you could draw a little boat out there, but it doesn't matter. That point that's way out there is the boat. And we have an angle from the top of the cliff down to that boat. Now, it says the angle of depression is 15 degrees. And I've just told you that an angle of depression is from a horizontal down. If I'm standing up here at the top of the cliff, I need to imagine a horizontal line here. And it's the angle going down from there is the 15 degrees. Now, I'm hoping that you remember a little bit of geometry from year eight because that 15 isn't in my triangle. But if you remember alternate an angles, you remember that one, the Z shape, the Z shape on your parallel lines. So like that, there's a Z in there. Okay. Which means that that 15 degrees would be the same thing as having it down there. Okay. So you don't need to give a reason. You don't need to write alternate angles are equal or anything like that. But as soon as you see an angle of depression, you go, well, I can move it down there because of the alternate angles, okay? All right, this would have to be a right angle because the cliff is vertical and the water you hope is horizontal. There's your right angle. And it says in the question, how far is the boat from the base of the cliff? That would be this side between my boat and my cliff. That's what I'm trying to find. That's what the question wants me to find. Okay, so that will normally all be given to you. And now we want to solve it with our soccer toa. So labeling what I've got from my 15. Oh, it doesn't want to let me change highlighters. Anyway, from the 15, the X would be the adjacent because it's right next to it. And the 80 is the opposite. So it's tan. We're going to use tan theta equals opposite over adjacent. Now let's sub in. 10 of 15 equals, because my angle is 15. The opposite is the 80 and the adjacent is the X. Good. 
So X is on the bottom, which means we do a little switch. 80 over 10, 15, and we type that into our calculator. Um, it does say in the question to the nearest meter, which means you want to get rid of all the decimal places and it will be 299. Um, I wouldn't mark you down, but should try to include meters on that because we do know that that's measured in meters. All right, let's try another one. The angle of elevation of the top of a tree from a point on level ground 10 meters away from the base of a tree is 19 degrees. So what's wrong with these questions is that they're wordy. But we have someone standing away from a tree. So the vertical line is my tree, very simple tree. And the person standing over here, some distance from the base of the tree, it says that they are 10 meters from the tree. So that's where the 10 meters go. And the angle of elevation, that means to the top. As I go up to the top of the tree, the angle of elevation is 19 degrees my right angle would go in there. Find the height of the tree. So this one's my tree, let's put an X on it. Okay, and now we're doing our Sokotoa. So let's label. The hypotenuse is empty. The 10 is the adjacent and the X is the opposite. So we're using tan again. Tan theta equals opposite over adjacent. Sub in. 10 of 19 equals opposite is x, adjacent is 19. How many of these questions? Two. All right, the x is on the top. So let's just times them together. 19 times by, oh, I've changed the number. Sorry, my adjacent should have been 10. Oh, I made a mistake. Fix it, fix it. So it should have been 10 times 10, 19, and then we can type it in. Um, to two decimal places, this one says, so 3.44 meters would be how tall the tree is. Yeah? Um, I think that's it, then it's your turn over here. So 